Hi everyone, uh, my name is Brennan and I am one of the co-founders of Wholesale. Uh, Wholesale is inventory software for cell phone wholesalers. So if you buy and sell used cell phones uh, in bulk, this is built for you. Uh, we've been building Wholesale for about the past five years in an operating wholesale business. So we've been making it better and better and uh, custom fit to the wholesale cell phone model as time has gone on um, and we just this January released it as a product for other wholesalers uh, to use it within their businesses uh, to pay for and use so um, if you're if you're using spreadsheets or some combination of spreadsheets and Dropbox or Google Drive uh, to manage your inventory right now the advantage of using wholesale is that it's just so much simpler much more organized and a lot faster than than using spreadsheets. Uh, plus, you get all of the, you know, the incredible advantages of having your inventory in one place and being able to run reports, analytics, um, to see how your business is trending over time, which devices are the most important, which customers and suppliers are the most important. Um, so we've been doing all of that and using using those uh, features to grow our business over the last five years, and it's been really really helpful. So. Um, we are hopeful that, that you feel the same way and are interested in using it. Uh, this is going to be the first in a series of demonstrations of wholesale so that you can kind of see what it would be like to use it in your business. Um, and today we're just going to start with the, the most simple function, um, which is adding a phone to your inventory. So with that, we're going to hop over into wholesale. And here is the, the back end, the wholesale interface. So this is the, the process of adding a new device to, to your inventory in wholesale. Um, I've already queued it up here and entered an ESN, but we'll, we'll get that out of the way and, and talk about these, these three things here. So in wholesale, you can add a single ESN, one at a time, adding a single phone at a time. Um, you can add multiple phones by ESN if you have a list of ESNs from your supplier. Or if you just know from your supplier that you're getting 100 iPhone 6s next week, uh, you can add them by quantity without ESN. Today we are just focused on the single ESN, adding a phone, one phone at a time to your inventory. So um, we are going to use my personal iPhone 7 here for our demo today. And we're going to punch in the ESN. I had it saved in my clipboard there. And we're going to run an ESN check. And this check should come back pretty quickly. Here it is. We've, it's already done. And we've checked the GSMA's blacklist, so we can say, see whether or not the phone has been reported lost or stolen. And we also check on iPhones um, the iCloud status. And so we can see on my phone the blacklist is clean. Thankfully, nobody has, been, uh, has reported my phone as lost or stolen. And the iCloud status is locked because I have my iCloud account turned on. Um, so that all looks good. And we're going to choose what device it is. So Wholesale can take a look at the ESN and determine as it will determine as much as it can from the ESN. So here we can see we, it's already got our manufacturer, our model, and our variant. And we're just going to put in the capacity. My phone is, uh, yep, it's 128 gigs. It is a black version, and it is an AT&T model. If for any reason uh, we had never added a, this model of phone to our uh, to our system yet, we could add a new device to the catalog. Um, so, for example, if for say, for example, say this was a Rogers phone, and we don't have Rogers in this list, we could we could add that here. But we've got all the information for this phone, and we're good to move on. Uh, so we're moving on to functionality. The way that that we look at functionality um, within wholesale is you either have a phone that's fully working or you have a phone that is damaged. And if it's damaged, it could be damaged in any of these ways. And depending on how you do things in your business, you can add or remove different damages from, from these uh, categories and, and cater it to your own model for how you uh, handle phones in damaged condition. Um, my phone in particular is damaged because it has cracked glass. So we're going to choose that and we're going to move on to grade. And my phone, based on uh, Nuea's guidelines for grade, appears to be in B grade. So we're going to put that as B grade. Now grade is the same in, in the sense of functionality in that you can add or remove grades. If you do things in a, a PGL, PUG uh, way, you can do that instead of A, B, C. Uh, we do things as A, B, C, new in box, and then uh, we have an untested grade for stuff that we're just not going to test. And so, you, But you can add or remove uh, the grades that represent uh, how you do things at your business. So that is a B grade, and then we move on to details. We are going to make this phone unavailable, and you have these options to, to do the same thing with status as you do with grades and damages. You can, um, you can change them, add or remove them. We have the options of setting the phone as available, which makes it ready for sale, um, listed online on one of our e-commerce uh, 
websites or platforms. Um, we could be refurbishing it or doing something to it. Uh, it gets to sold if it's on an order uh, or unavailable. We like to set things as unavailable when we're buying them from an enterprise or uh, a trade-in, uh, so it's a consumer trade-in. Um, and so we'll set it to unavailable so that we wait until we pay the, the supplier for their phone. Um, this is a cracked iPhone 7, so we'll pay like 75 bucks for it. We can kind of review the details about it down here, and that all looks good, so we're going to hit save. Once the phone is saved, we can now move on to our next natural step, which is printing out the label. Wholesale generates a label for every single uh, inventory item that you create within it, and the labels are pretty neat. We've got a barcode that represents the, the ESN. We have the, uh, the device and model and specification all there. We have our grade of the device, and we have our damages. And then wholesale generates a unique ID for every single device, which is since it's only uh, four digits or so, uh, it's a lot easier to read than the ESN. So in our office, we sort by, uh, by these IDs, and we, when we're picking out phones for orders, we pick by this ID. So we could print this out on our label printer, stick it on the phone. Um, if we want to, we can add more phones to the batch, or we can just go to the inventory page. So you can see, this is the inventory page that represents this specific iPhone. It's got the ESN right here at the top, the model, uh, all the details that were on the label and that we just put in. Um, and that's it. So that's the, that's the method for uh, checking a phone into wholesale. Um, we'll have more demos coming up of how you do other things, but, but that's the process. If you're interested in using wholesale for your business, you can visit us at www.wholesale.io or email us at hello at wholesale.io. Both of those will be links in the description for this video. Thanks.